Hey guys, it's Windy from Windy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to paint a cocktail in watercolor. As always, I start with a contour drawing. I refer to my reference photo and I mark out all the darker shades in it. For the background, I just leave it blank because I'm going to paint a blending background. Because I'm going to use wet on wet technique for the background, so I suggest mixing the color before painting so it's ready to use after you wet the paper. Otherwise, the paper might dry after you mix the color. I prefer testing the paint on another paper to ensure it's the right color and avoid mistakes. Then I change to my bigger brush and use the wet on wet techniques which means I apply the clean water first and add color while the paper is still wet. Because the paper is still wet, you can see the color blend out nicely. You can also apply masking fluid around the cup before coloring so it's easier to paint the background. Because it's not a big area for me, so I just paint it directly. Then continue adding the darker color while the paper is still wet. Next, I change to my small pen brush and outline my cup sketch. I try to keep my outline very light so it won't affect adding colors afterwards. After that, I erase my pencil sketch so I know there are no pencil mark on my finished painting. Then I add wine color, same as before, I mix color before painting. For the color, I'm using vermilion hue with pure ruby red. I really like this color, it's very vibrant and it's easy to mix with all the color. I change to my bigger brush to apply the color, then add the darker shades while the paper is still wet, which will create a natural blending color. When adding the color, I avoid the central area, which will be the ice cube. So watercolor does fade a little bit after it's dry. That's why I'm adding a second layer while the paper is still wet to strengthen the darker areas. For the ice cube, I strengthen the shadow around it to set up the more transparent color. I'm using Perrin Co Purple here for the darker shades on the ice cube. I really like this color because it allows me to show the darker shades on the more transparent island.
Lastly, I add the reflection color around the brim and strengthen the shadow on the cup. I also highlight it using a white watercolor pencil. I like to paint over my highlight again with clean water so it's smoother. So the painting is about done now. I really hope it's helpful and you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!